Um, my name is Jonina um, Abron Irvin. Um, I was in the Black Panther Party in Detroit, Michigan. That's where I joined. Uh, Detroit is the, the motor capital uh, of the United States where all the cars are produced. Um, I, you know, I, in the Black Panther Party in Detroit, I worked in a lot of our survival programs, the breakfast program for children, where we serve kids free hot breakfast. I also helped to sell the Black Panther newspaper. We would go downtown, downtown Detroit, and sell the newspaper. And I also uh, drove in our busing to prisons program, the Black Panther Party. One of our survival programs was to give the families of people in prisons once a month uh, a ride to the prisons where their family members were being incarcerated because a lot of people were poor, did not have cars, did not have a way to get there. So uh, we called it the busing pro busing program. We didn't actually have a bus in Detroit. We had a car, but I would drive uh, in that. Um, so that was my work, primarily my work in Detroit where I joined the Black Panther Party. Then when we relocated to the national headquarters in Oakland, California, my primary work was to work on the newspaper, the Black Panther newspaper, which at one point um, had the, it was sort of fluctuated between being the first and the second most highly circulated black newspaper in the United States wow. in the late 60s and early 70s. And I also worked at our school. The Black Panther Party started an elementary level school for kids ages two and a half to 11. And I taught uh, grammar, English, spelling, writing, and reading. So that was some of my, my main activities in the Black Panther Party. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. Well, as for me, I uh, started in the uh, Civil Rights Movement, actually. Uh, since the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee uh, sort of was the forerunner for the Black Panther Party and for Black Power itself, uh, in 1965, uh, the organization went over from um, you know, nonviolence and from the earlier uh, civil rights perspective over to black uh, power and um, you know, ex actually expelled all the whites out of the organization and uh, became more of a uh, militant organization that practiced armed self-defense. And um, so my history started in, in Chattanooga, Tennessee, my hometown where I'm from, and uh, you know, sort of flowed into uh, activism in the civil rights period, then into the Black Panther Party, when the Black Panther Party and the uh, Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee merged, merged in 1967 uh, through 69. And um, the leaders of the uh, Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, H. Rap Brown, uh, as he was known then, Stokely Carmichael, and uh, George, uh, James Foreman, James Foreman, uh, were actually uh, drafted by Huey P. Newton and some of the other leaders of the, of the newly emerged Black Panther Party into uh, becoming, you know, a, 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 I guess a coalition or whatever you want to call it. It's debatable what, what they call it, but at any rate, the organizations had uh, joint leadership. And... Um, it was in that period that, that myself and others uh, made the move to go into the Black Panther Party. Now, for me, at an earlier stage, and uh, and also having been an activist in the South and another organization, uh, we uh, were still continuing to do uh, anti-Klan organizing. In fact, uh, mm. the Lowndes County Freedom Organization was the first organization that used the uh, leaping Black Panther Party. That was its uh, symbol. And, um, and practice armed self-defense against the Ku Klux Klan and against other white supremacist uh, officials and so forth, the white racist government. And um, so the SNCC had already built a base. It had a long history as, a, as an organization, and it had trained organizers, and this is why the Black Panther Party wanted it and wanted them to work with it at an earlier stage. This is the Nonviolent Coordinating Committee? Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. That's what it was known when it was first created. Yeah. It later changed its name to the Student National Coordinating Committee, but it, okay, yeah. in essence, it's the same organization. Yeah, and uh, this is the organization that produced Black Power. This is where the ideology mm. for Black Power came from, mm. from that organization and from uh, Stokely Carmichael and uh, Willie uh, Ricks, who were uh, 
well, Ricks was, was actually my uh, mentor. I actually came from my hometown. And um, these, uh, this period, uh, 65 through 69 was the period of black militancy inside SNCC itself. And then later, uh, they, you know, as I said, merged with the uh, student nonviolence, uh, merged with the Black Panther Party, which was formed in 1966. Hmm. 